Hi friends, and welcome back to the Majestic Kingdom. Here in the Majestic Kingdom, we are learning about our forever King Jesus. That's right! Let's see what's inside the King's Royal Bag to help us with our story today. Okay, Fredward friends, today it looks like we have a Bible. Oh, that's so silly. Of course we're gonna use our Bible to learn about our forever king. <laughs> it is kind of silly, isn't it, Fredward? Today, we're gonna learn about a time Jesus visited a temple as a kid. Let's turn on our listening ears and let's get ready to learn. Make sure you don't give me away, Lady Autumn. I'm on the move. Huh? On the move? Fredward, what's going on? Princess Kimmy and I are playing a game of hide and seek. She has been looking for me for hours. I don't want to be found. I see. Well, don't worry, Fredward. I'll be on the lookout for <gasps> Princess Kimmy. Hi, Fredward. Well, hello there, Princess Kimmy. How are you today? Well, I've been looking for Fredward all day. But the castle is so large, I have no idea where he could be. I hate to tell you this, but Sir Fredward was here. You just missed him. Ugh! I have been just missing him all day. I looked in the kitchen, the ballroom, the throne room, and everywhere I just missed him. Have you ever heard of someone having to look for so long for one person? Oh, well, actually, Kimmy, our Bible story today is about a time when Mary and Joseph couldn't find Jesus, and they had to search for a long time as well. Why don't you hang out for the story? Maybe you will feel rested enough to continue your search for Sir Fredward. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Great. Well, our story today comes from the very best book, friends. Which book is the very best? The, the Bible. Bible. The, the Bible. Bible. I said, which book is the very best? The, the Bible. Bible. The, the Bible. Bible. So Jesus was about 12 years old, and his family had traveled to the city of Jerusalem for the Passover feast. After the feast, Jesus' parents left to go back home to their town of Nazareth where they lived. They traveled with their family for a whole day, thinking that Jesus was in their group. But Jesus had stayed back in Jerusalem. His parents just didn't know. Didn't know? You mean Jesus was lost? Yep. Jesus' parents finally realized that Jesus was missing, and they began to look everywhere for one, two, three days. They searched for him. After three whole days, they were back in the city of Jerusalem, and finally they found Jesus. Remember, Jesus chose to stay back. As the forever king, he wanted to tell everyone about God's love, even as a boy. He was in the temple teaching others about God. The temple is like a church, a place where people go to worship God. Jesus was talking to a group of teachers, listening to them, asking them questions, and telling them all about God's love. Everyone listening to Jesus was amazed at how much he knew and understood. Wow! Even as a boy, Jesus sure did know a lot about God's love. But <laughs> did he get in trouble with his parents? Well, Princess, the Bible tells us that Jesus' parents found him. They were also amazed at all that he knew. They asked him, why have you treated us like this? We were so worried. Jesus told his parents, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Remember, friends, Joseph was Jesus' father on earth, but Jesus was God's own son. He is God. When he lived here on earth, Jesus was God with us. God is with his people. Jesus is our forever king even though he was still young. Wow, that sure is a beautiful story and a great reminder that Jesus has always been our forever king, <laughs> even when he was little. Mm -hmm. Now, if only I could find that silly Fredward. Why don't you try looking in the Royal Library? Sir Fredward loves a good story. That's a great idea. I'm off to find that funster. Farewell, Lady Autumn. Bye, Kimmy. Friends, 
Jesus knew so much about God, even when he was a boy. Jesus knew scripture and learned from it while he was growing up, just like our verse. And Jesus grew stronger and wiser. Luke 2, 52. Will you try that with me? And Jesus grew stronger and wiser. Luke 2, 52. Great job, friends. Let's do our special poem and pray together. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in our lap, lap, lap. Dear God, we thank you for sending your son to be our forever king. And we pray that you would just continue to allow us to grow stronger and wiser, just as he did each and every day. Amen. All right, who's ready to sing and dance? Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me. Always with me because wherever I go, I know wherever I go, wherever I go, I know God is with me. Wherever I go, I know wherever I go, wherever I go, I know God is with me. Whoop whoop with me, with me. Whoop whoop with me. He's whoop whoop. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed your visit to the Majestic Kingdom. Today, we learned about Jesus staying in the temple to learn and teach God's word. Isn't it amazing that even Jesus, the forever king, read and learned scripture? We hope you'll join us next time as we learn more about our forever king, Jesus. Bye, friends. Hello, friends. I hope you enjoyed your time in the Majestic Kingdom. If you did, be sure to give our video a like and subscribe so you never miss an adventure. See you real soon.